Hello everyone, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. Picking up where I left off on March 21st, this is episode 99, uh, my last episode for the evening. So uh, where I left off was I was trying to get overflow and underflow working. I would really like to get that done tonight. Um, so we are expecting underflow to return uh, nothing and instead it's returning a billion and one. Uh, negative. So that's easily fixed if, um, well it should be easily fixed, but I thought I had that working. So if result, so if min valid minus min valid minus new valid dollars one let's just type this in I'm not sure why that isn't working. I'm back. Oh, I was just being dumb. I'm subtracting and I don't have to code on that yet. This needs to be uh, minus one. And if I do that, then it will work just fine. Yeah. This should fail. Okay, so just running through these. I'm not going to do this shortcut after all. Uh, and then minus to zero. I think the only way we can get an invalid result out of this is for have an overflow which would result from us doing um, a max value of minus a negative. Yep. Oh, interesting. I guess minus to zero is already using our subtraction logic. No, it's not. Well, how is that? Oh, duh. Um, yeah. So an example why you want to see the red bar before you see the green bar. 
There we go. And percentage. Okay, that should do it. So now, if I go run our app, and I type in too much, it doesn't work. Look at that. Except for the starting balance, what's up with that? Uh, parsing. Yeah, just constructing a value is okay. Hmm. Still using this constructor? Okay, so I should be able to put an assertion in here. Um, get the amount, not be out of range. I like making my fail fast code really explicit because when this triggers it means that I made a programming error without realizing it. Um, so I want it to be really obvious. So let's see. And I did make a programming error. I, I did not consider the case of parsing and it would have been good if it had thrown an exception. I mean, it's not good from the user's perspective, but it's good from my perspective in, in that it will help me catch things a lot sooner. Um, amount, blah, 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 out of valid range, in valid dollars, in it. Perfect. Okay, so we got to get that working right, and I believe that's a question of dollars. Now, is there any way to turn that logic over to valid dollars? I don't think so. I mean, I could have it throw an exception, but I don't really like that. Um, I 
maybe I can make the um, out of range test an in range test. Yeah, what if we do that? Let's make that's eh, clunky. But hmm. I don't even know how to test that. I mean, because what I'd want to do is I want to say valid dollars dot in range, you know, some string value or some double value. Um, that's just clunky. You know what? I think I'm overthinking this. I'm just going to do a really simple test, which is to say that. Um, we want things that are out of range to uh, to not parse. The reason I'm pausing here is because we're talking about having a pretty bad case of decoupling. Um, implementing some code here on double means that if I ever change this max or minimum value, um, that's got a really good chance of not being remembered when over in dollars and the uh, parsing logic that I'm about to write not working. So I want to have the question of is something in range or not. I don't want that logic split across valid dollars and dollars because it's very likely that if I ever change these values that I would not remember to go to both places. Um, so I think I do need to have an in range test of some sort. which means that I need to have a, I need to make these valid values public. In fact, let's get rid of these entirely. still working. Um, Okay, that should still be working. Yeah, there we go. So now I should be able to say something like assert uh, true that max something like that. Uh, that is where we'll have to pick up next time though because we are out of time. So thanks everybody for watching. I will catch you next time.